fishermen like Mike Caruso and Jamie Hummel fill their boat with dead fish as fast as their arms could lift them from the water. I put 2,500 on the boat in like 15 minutes. At one point, folks here say the carpet of dead fish spanned the entire Shinnecock Canal. Just totally bizarre. A distance of as much as 180 feet across. You thought that it was like ice, and then you realized that it was fish. Marina worker Kelly Gibson says it was a sight she'd never seen in a lifetime living and working on the water. I was like, oh my God, what's happening? Really, like, what's happening? What happened, it appears, is that the bunker fish died of a lack of oxygen. State environmental officials believe predators chased a huge school of bunker into the canal, and there were just too many fish and not enough oxygen. They're migrating now. They leave and they go down south, and it's just one of those things. We actually watched some of the bunkers struggling to breathe before dying in the water. State environmental crews have taken water samples to try and confirm what happened here. But all that's left now is cleaning up the tens of thousands of fish that died. Thank God it's not summer, because <laughs> it will be stink. It's going to stink in the now, but it's not going to be as bad as the summertime. State DEC crews were on the water earlier today taking samples to try and verify exactly what happened. There was another fish kill just like this one back in September on the north shore of Long Island in Centerport. Again, tens of thousands of bunker washing up. The cause believed to be exactly the same. Too many fish in an area with just not enough oxygen. We're along the Shinnecock Canal tonight. Greg Sergal, News 4 New York.